You know why some people don't give themselves the permission to be healthy, happy, loving, successful, prosperous, and rich? Because they have a subconscious guilt complex and they don't feel that they deserve. They, they, they are really expiating subconsciously. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not good enough to be happy. I don't deserve to be happy because I did such and such. Or because when you grew up, your mama was always calling you, look at that bad child. Sit down for a moment. Get back to this. But I want you to notice how Jesus worked with the disciples. I mean, Peter, with all of his faults, God, uh, Jesus kept calling him a rock. Didn't he? Kept calling him a rock. And every time he would goof up, Jesus kept calling him a rock. The weak has, will have to keep saying what? I am strong. So tonight, I don't know how far we'll get on the printed page, but I feel that this is what the Holy Spirit would have me do tonight to free you so that you will no longer be chained by what will they think. You won't be chained to mama's thinking or to papa's thinking or the preacher's thinking. The thinking of organized religion. All right, stand up now. Let's, let's speak this permission. Anybody who is really not ready yet to be healthy, happy, loving, successful, prosperous, and rich, this is not for you. Don't stand up. Sit down. And This is for people who want to be free. The Dr. King celebration is coming up, and that ties right in so that you'll be free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. Free at last. And you are not free until you become a self-authorized individual. From now on, even when you go window shopping, even if you don't have the money to buy that beautiful stuff, I dare you to just stop and in your heart give yourself permission to have that. You want a mink coat? It's easy. The only reason you don't have it, you haven't given yourself permission to have it. You want another house? You want another apartment? Give yourself permission. Behold, I give you power. May also be transliterated, Behold, I give you permission. <laughs> give yourself permission. There is nobody else to give you permission or to stop you unless you give them your power to do it. Nothing, listen to this, I love to say this and I love to see people's faces, nothing ever works against a man except his own power, which he has unconsciously, ignorantly given away. And when it comes back at him, he calls it the devil, not knowing that he is that devil. When you do not take your own God-given authority and power into your hands and use it for your good and the good of all mankind and to the glory of God, your own power becomes your devil and works against you. Let me tell you something. This God power that God has given you, it's going to work. If you don't work it for you, it's going to work against you. It's going to bedevil you. And as a, a lot of times, a lot of, you know what hell, another way to describe hell, it's all that God power in you that's just burning to be used in positive, energetic ways. You see, the power is in there, that Holy Ghost power. It's burning, but you have to apply it positively or it becomes hell. When you don't use God right, it becomes the devil. <laughs> what does God in you say? Command you me. That's what God says. Command you me. 
God is too hot not to use. You've got to demonstrate God. You gotta set God free. Yes. yes, and on the you as an individual, you have to give God permission too, you see. You give yourself permission and you give God permission to do that. God, it's all right if you make me a multimillionaire. God, it's all right if you give me all those Rolls Royces. Won't bother me if folks don't, other folks don't like it. Oh, I can't wait to get to that message about Abraham. Boy, God blessed that man and prospered him so that the Philistines couldn't stand it. <laughs> they go from us. We can't stand to see all this prosperity. We can't stand to see you so blessed. Now, you know why? That's another reason subconsciously and unconsciously, some of you don't give yourself permission to be blessed and to be prospered because there is a subconscious fear that somebody will reject you. And let me tell you a secret. As you progress along the path of self-realization, people from your former states are going to reject you. I was thinking today, I remember when I went back to South Carolina in 1959. All I had was a footmobile. Some of you don't know what that is. A man paid me his tithes with an old army Chevrolet. It's still, I, in a sense, the best car I ever had. I think he bought it at an army surplus sale for $75. The color was nondescript, no floor mats. I drove that car for over a year, it didn't even change the oil. <laughs> it was a real puddle jumper. And uh, sometimes I'd go to those churches way down in the country to preach. And when I'd get there, there were many times there'd be so many cars parked out there in the woods and in the road that I had to get out of the little old thing in the middle of the street and leave it and go in and preach. And somebody would take it and park it under a tree somewhere. A lot of people related to me while I was in that little Chevy. Sometime later when I was able to buy that 50, Pontiac with the glass packed mufflers. <laughs> Some of the people that could relate to me in that old Chevy couldn't relate to me. They didn't support me anymore. Never, I never, some of those good people were good supporters as long as I was in that little Chevy. See, because they were there with me while I was in that state of consciousness, you see. But they couldn't see me in something better. And there are a lot of people in your life, listen, they can't see you with anything beyond where you are now. And when you move, they're going to get offended. Now, you had better be sure that you don't have some fear. And listen, please hear this. Be sure that you don't have some fear, unconscious or subconscious, of moving on up because it will offend those people that are with you at your present state. Now, I almost have no buddies. And there's nothing wrong with having buddies. And it's good. But if you do have buddies, be sure they are progressive minds. And that they're people that will love to see you prosper. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I 
know I've been changed. The angels in the heaven are changed. 